Hello everybody, my name's Peter. G'day, I'm Craig Hogan from Coex Training. And Peter and I are both high voltage trainers, which some of you may have met us before. Okay, today we'd like to quickly talk about remain units, commonly known as RMUs, used widely through our industry and power distribution. Uh, remain units are a very efficient piece of equipment but have inherent dangers that could and have had people switching life gear down to earth. And Craig and I'd like to demonstrate how easy it is to do the wrong thing with ring main units. So if you could picture these two ring main units here of different types, but uh, just imagine that these two units are sitting apart in a distribution network, say five kilometres away from each other. So in your mind, picture this switch here, this cable coming out, running on the ground five kilometres over to this one and coming into this unit. If I was to try and isolate this cable, and I'll attempt to shut it down now. I've now switched this cable off the bus bar in this ring main unit. Now the supply coming from this direction is now isolated from this cable. However, the supply coming from that direction, keeping this cable energized. Because I've opened this switch up, the internal interlock now has released my earth switch. There is nothing stopping me now to close that earth onto this cable that is being energized from the other direction. Okay, if this was a real, real life situation, I would have uh, released the power of the sun down the bottom of this ring main unit. It is that simple to do. Likewise, likewise the other end, this cable could be earthed five kilometres away and I could be in a separate substation operating a ring main unit here. And there is nothing to prevent me from energising this ring main unit. And by doing that, I've actually fed electricity to the earth cable at the other end. The same thing again, you're releasing a catastrophic amount of energy. Now, from experience and throughout industry, there have been so many incidents where people have mistakenly earthed live cable or energised cable that's earthed. And it's one of the key things that's so critical to get your high voltage switching correct. That's why we use switching programs, and that is why the biggest threat we have with this type of gear is not only damage to the equipment, but if the equipment does fail under those, under those extreme stress conditions, it can impact on you personally. Thanks, Peter. Thank you, Craig. Be safe. Just as a footnote to that presentation, guys, if we were doing this for real in the field, we would have to wear the appropriate arc flash PPE. Like Craig's showing you there, this arc flash PPE is personal protective equipment, something we call a bomb suit, and that is to protect you from the dangers of a high voltage arc flash that could be. Thank you.